you're a petrol head in Invercargill, what do you do? You come and have a look at the Burt Munro collection in a local hardware store and you don't expect to run into a competitor. Rob, you had that beautifully bright coloured M3. What happened? What are you doing in a, in a hardware store? Well, we lost our aero yesterday, a wing on the back, and we basically rolled it at about 160 kilometres an hour. So we've knocked the wheels off it and it's no longer... Uh, viable to run and um, so yeah so we thought we'd come and have a look at the magnificent collection down here and uh, what an amazing thing uh, we organized another car for tomorrow so we'll be able to do the iconic Queensland stage uh, Queenstown stage tomorrow and uh, yeah so we thought we'd come and have a look and you know we've heard so much about the hardware store here the collection of Bert Munro who my father actually knew um, and so yeah this is and you're an Invercargo boy I was born in Invercargill uh, 58 years ago and uh, one year old I went to Auckland and I've never returned. So this is back. A bit of nostalgia for you? Yes, uh, it's been a bit emotional to be honest. It'd be good to see you back in the event. Thank you. As somebody who followed motorcycle racing in its various forms in New Zealand for 30 odd years and commentated on it for 25, it is interesting when you come and have a look up close at some of this machinery. The one thing that you know absolutely for sure is that Bert Munro, at the very best, was eccentric and perhaps even a little nutty. To have ridden these bikes at the speeds he did, just incredible. You sit and you look at it and you think, how would you even sit on that at 70 or 80 k's an hour, let alone 135 miles an hour? Even the feel of it in a replica, madness, utter madness.